Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another book review. I just read POTC's The Price of Freedom by A.C. Crispin. And, of course, I've been a huge fan of Ms. Crispin's for years since uh, she wrote Sarek, which was absolutely phenomenally written, and this proves to be no different. She knows her subject matter well. She introduces Zezera. I think Zezera actually existed at one point in time, and the people of Kimura, uh, they apparently descended from the Kushites, which were Egyptian, and I, I think that there is some um, veracity to that. I'm not entirely sure, but of course she said that she checked her back, so uh, there is quite a bit of kernel of truth in mythology, which I always found to be fascinating. And this 600-page uh, book is n no short of that. It is absolutely sensational, and we come across a, a rather young Jack Sparrow, and huh. <laughs> I fell in love with him all over again. Let me just, <laughs> I've just, I've always loved Jack. And ever since the first POTC, I just think, oh, I just adore his character. And I don't know what it is, but yeah, he's, he's got a way with the women. But, uh, <laughs> and that's very well explained in the book. And he just, he's got this certain je ne sais quoi. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the book is absolutely tremendous, and Ms. Crispin does not fail to disappoint. And if you're a POTC fan, read it, because it's just absolutely sensational. And you've got this myth from the very beginning, and from, from the moment you open it, you're hooked. You're, you're dragged into it, and there's no going back, and you think, ah, oh, we're in for a ride now. And it is definitely quite the ride, and of course we get a chance to see uh, Davy Jones for the first time and then we learn about how Davy drives a hard bargain when it comes to bargaining with him and you have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, due to the fact that he's not entirely a man, but I always found that uh, the legend of Davy to be eerie and mystifying and absolutely uh, transfixing and uh, the the book did not let me down at all and i want it for myself actually since it's a prequel to black pearl and we learn quite a bit about jack's character and he's very complex and i just i can't love help but love him more because of it and and you see that um though he is flawed though he has his foibles he's a good man and <laughs> he might be a little bit of a rogue at times, but he's got um, the mark of a gentleman, and this actually explains that, and you can see a lot of that um, that value of the traits that he possesses, and uh, it is an adventure, you've got romance, you've got um, magic and, and mysticism, and... Um, this labyrinth that's involved with the uh, the princess of uh, Zazura, and yeah, she's a very intriguing character. <laughs> I love her, and of course, immediately another favorite character of mine became Esmeralda. I just absolutely adore her, and I wonder if anybody's ever done any fan art of her because I would love to cosplay as her. Um. No one would know who I was, but it wouldn't matter. Um, this is an absolutely sensational book, and it's nothing short of um, stellar and astronomically written, and it deserves all the highest kudos in the world, and someday I'm hoping I can own it myself, because I would definitely reread it, because it's, it's worth it. <laughs> it is so worth it. It's just, it's so splendiferously written and just rife with just detail and it's so easy to get lost in it and I'm thinking that at some point in time in a past life that I was probably a pirate it would explain a lot uh, I was probably one of the nicer ones <laughs> 
but I drive a hard, I, I haggle, I drive a hard bargain, I know how to strategize, so yeah, <laughs> don't cross swords with me. But <laughs> beyond that, I would, I would be sparing of life, I would be one of those types, but it depends on the situation. Um, it was absolutely terrific, and like I said, A1, top notch, thumbs up, five stars. No other contesting, no no vetching, nothing. It's more than worth a read if you have a chance. And I know it might seem a little bit daunting to pick up a tome and thinking, oh my gosh, it's 600 some pages. Uh, this is Crispin we're talking about. Her territory is fantasy and sci-fi. So if you know anything about those two genres, you know that they're going to be packed with just <laughs> wordiness, but doesn't matter it just it, it makes it all the worth all the more worthwhile but when you come to the end you think eh, it's only the beginning <laughs> but anyway it makes black pearl make more sense but that's all i gotta say about the prize to freedom so until next time live long and prosper ciao tutti